everyone and welcome to my at home art lesson. Today we're going to be creating a bird inspired by the artist Pete Cromer. And Pete Cromer uses a lot of bright colours, a lot of pastel colours and some natural colours as well. And I'm going to take you through this lesson which requires something to add colour. So you could use paint, you could use markers, you could use coloured pencils, pastels, anything that you have at home that can create different colours. You'll also need a pair of scissors for cutting and three different pieces of paper. So I'll show you my examples. One piece of paper will be for the background, which I've coloured in a nice bright yellow and green colour with watercolour paint. You could alternatively use a coloured piece of paper or a blank piece of paper. That's up to you. My other two pieces of paper are for the body parts for my bird. So this section here I've coloured quite large for the body shape. These other sections here are for the different body parts like the wings, the parts of the face, the eyes. And the okay, so you could use different types of things to create colour. I'm going to use watercolour paint and some markers today. So it's a little bit of paint. Blend some colours together if you like. I'm creating a larger section now for my body, my bird's body. I'm going to sort of, instead of doing solid colour all the same, I'm going to blend a few cool blue greens together. Okay, so this will be for my body, so it needs to be quite this section. Okay. Next I'm going to do some sections with some colouring. So I'm going to use textures, you could use uh, pencils, you could use oil pastels, um, crayons, anything that you have at home. I'm going to use um, some warm colours together. Now I can see, I notice in Pete Kremer's work that he uses cool colours and warm colours together, pastels and brights, so I'm going to try and do that if I can. But just having different colours uh, is the key here. So I'm going to divide my page up into a few different sections. And have a combination of solid colors where it's just all the one color together and some with texture for different colors together And that's how you would create a page for your different shapes. So body, wing, wing, eyes, beak, eyes. There we go. So we're going to use the scissors today to cut these different pieces out. So you'll have lots of different colored pieces of paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut these into different sections. Okay, so now I've got one there. I'm going to take the rest. Lots of different colours for our bird. Okay, 
the next step I'm going to show you is we're going to take a piece of paper and we're going to turn it over and we're going to use a pencil to draw the shapes that we want to cut out. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. side and when I do the drawing I turn it over the back and cut it from this side so that when we turn it over we won't see the pencil lines and it will make it look much neater. I'm going to cut that out. Okay, so now you can see I've cut out most of my bird shapes here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start now by gluing those on. So I'm going to take my background paper and I'm going to take my body and my pieces and pop them so this one here I've coloured in using a texture. So I've blended a few, a couple of different things together. So you could do that with any other colour. You could use a light and a dark. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just checking out how I like my Peak Chroma Inspire Bird to be arranged. Actually, I quite, quite like this pink on the yellow background instead because it stands out better. What do you guys think? You might need to play around with yours too. So now I'm going to take a glue stick. Okay. And I'll glue my body on first. So it's part body and part the head. The chroma works in very simple shapes. So, the shape of the body is not very detailed. It's just simple shapes. It uses bright colours and layers them on top of each other. So he's using colour, shape and layering here. And that's what we're trying to do. So pop that down. I'm going to pop it in the centre here. Make sure the glue is right to the edges here. So I'll start rearranging some of the pieces back on. Having a bit of a play. Okay, so now we have our finished Heat, chroma inspired bird. Colour, shape and layer. I can't wait to see yours. <laughs>